Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you a game between Alexander Lehin and Botella. This is a game from a simultaneous exhibition that Lehin played in Alcoy in 1935. Alcoy is a city in Spain. And who is Botella? Play with black pieces. Well, Botella was champion in his street. Some people say that he was even the best player in the city. Hmm. Let's look at the game. Alehin had white pieces and he started d4. Botella played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, bishop to b4, Nimzo Indian defense. Looks like Botella knows how to play. a3, same ish variation. Bishop takes knight check. Why to move? How to capture? Just kidding. Pawn takes bishop. d5, e3, c6, bishop to d3. Knight from b to d7. Knight to e2. Pawn takes pawn. On c4. Bishop takes on c4. e5. And both players castled kingside. Alehin played a4, intending bishop to a3, rook to e8, white to move. What is the best move for white in this position? Hmm? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Would you play bishop to a3? This is what Alehin played. Interestingly, this is not the best move. The best move is queen to b3. Threatening bishop takes on f7. And how to defend the pawn? If, for example, queen to e7, then bishop to a3, attacking the queen. Okay, back to our game. Alehin played bishop to a3, knight to f8, knight to g3, well if queen to b3 now then queen to c7. Knight to g3, b6, queen to b3, queen to c7, defending the pawn on f7, rook from a to d1, bishop to e6, bishop takes bishop, rook takes bishop, knight to f5, g6, kicking the knight back. Why to move? What would you do? Alehin played knight to g3. Stronger is d takes on e5. And after queen takes on e5, knight to d4. We have knight to g3. Knight from h to d7. h3, h5, f4. Very ambitious move by Alehin. But this is also a risky move black to move. Some people say that Botella had a glass of water. Wow. Does this help with the moves? E takes on f4. E takes on f4. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause the video and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Botella played rook to e3. Believe it or not, this move is so strong that made Alehin worried. It is a kind of a silent killer move. Knight to h1. What else? If king to h2, h4, and after knight to h1, knight to d5, and black is better. So Alehin played a move that he didn't like to play. Knight to h1. This is not a great place for the knight, is it? Knight to d5. Compare the knights. This one and this one. Hmm? f5. Knight takes on c3. Alehin has a difficult position. Do you agree? 
the rook is under attack. But this is not the only problem. Alehin played queen to c4, giving up the rook. Rook from d to e1 has a downside. What is the downside? This is the downside. Knight to e2 check. And after rook takes knight, then the obvious. Rook takes queen. That is why Alehin played queen to c4. Knight to e2 check. King to f2. Black to move. How to save the rook? What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for black. What did you find? Did you find queen to f4 check? This is the move played in the game. King to e1. Knight takes on d4. Discover check. King to d2. Now Alehin needs to be a supernatural to win this game. Do you agree? Who do you think will win? Would you bet on Alehin? No? Yes? Maybe? Black to move. What is the best move for black in this position? Hmm? Black. Play the move. And white resigned. The move is Look to E2 check. Alehin resigned in view of this continuation. King to C3. Rook to C2 check. King to D3. Knight to E5 check. Mate. There were rumors that the Western media didn't like to talk about this game. They were only talking about those 38 games that Alehin won. What do you think of this game? And you know, play with black pieces. He would be called NN if he lost the game, like the rest of his friends. NN, NN. There is a saying, the fastest runner doesn't always win the race. And the strongest warrior doesn't always win the battle. To this we can add, the strongest chess player doesn't always win the game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.